So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. Welcome to this video on how to customize the iOS 16 lock screens. Now there's actually two ways to do this. One is in settings and one is on the lock screen itself. So let's begin with the one in settings. So you'll just go over here to settings as you would before, scroll down to wallpapers and Apple even gives you a little thing to tell you how to do this. You can from the lock screen tap and hold to edit and switch between different wallpapers or you can just add them from right here. We'll go ahead and hit customize current wallpaper. And you can see that you can customize the widgets support right here within the actual settings menu. We're not gonna add anything right here right away. What we're gonna do is go ahead and just show you that you can add multiple widgets. I'm gonna go ahead and do these on the lock screen. But there is multiple ways to add things in here. You can also go ahead and change the different font clocks right here. Just pick the one you like. Now, I do want to mention one thing that I noted. I, I forgot to even mention in my iOS 16 review, and that is that if you actually put the same color, these clocks become nearly invisible. So do keep in mind you have to contrast this correctly, or what you're going to get is a hidden clock or a very hard to see clock. So go through the colors and find one that really stands out against that other you know color that is within that specific wallpaper you pick. Now some of these wallpapers do have the depth effect, so you click down here and you can go ahead and turn that on or off. That's basically when you know the clock kind of sits behind this object right here. So just keep that in mind. Also up here where it does say September, you can also add other things up there if you would like to switch that up as well. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel that out and show you right here what else is different. So you can also customize the home screen to be a little bit different. You'll have the original wallpaper, which would be more like a wallpaper pair where they kind of match up, or you can click different colors. Now when you do click different colors, click, click that twice and you can go ahead and go down here and you'll see multiple different color options. And if you click right here, you'll be able to pick out and find the exact color that you are looking for. So essentially you have infinite customization when it comes to the colors. There's no issues with that. You can also change the darkness, the lightness of the color, you kind of go through this gradient right here. So that's pretty cool. We can also click gradient and we can click right here and you'll see just a little bit of a gradient type of colorway on these wallpapers. So definitely if you like that mixture of colors, you're gonna like this option right here. You can also click your photos and sort out and find your own photos. Now, when you are using a specific wallpaper like this, the blur option does become available. Now, what this does is essentially allows you to blur that background a little bit. So when you are on the home screen, the apps kind of pop out more at you. So the wallpaper doesn't really distract you as much. I actually quite like this feature. Now, let's talk about the ways you can go ahead and customize this from the lock screen itself. So first of all, it has to be unlocked. Face ID will lock you and not let you use this. So make sure it's unlocked. Let's go ahead and hold down anywhere in the screen right there. And down here, you'll see customize. And so you wanna go ahead and click customize. And this is gonna allow you to customize the current wallpaper that you do have. This is gonna be basically the same thing we already did. So let's go ahead and add some widgets now. I'll go ahead and add a few. A lot of things are off, so it's not really gonna show properly right now. But you can see right there, you can start doing that just like you would have done before. The depth effect option is not available here right now. So you might have to do that from the settings menu. Now it's gonna ask you if you wanna add a wallpaper pair. Now again, I talked about that earlier, but it's basically when they just match each other. But you can also click down here for customize home screen if you want that a little bit different. Now let's go over here and add a new one. So we're gonna go ahead and swipe to the right. So just like this you can go ahead and add a new one, or you can kind of just click right here, this plus sign. That'll also allow you to change that, you know, specific wallpaper you're currently on. So if you don't like this color, but you want to keep that screen the same with your widgets, you'll just go ahead and change the background of it. So that's pretty cool. They got the weather one right there. Let's go over here and add a new one. So when we go ahead and add a new one. Now you'll be able to see everything about a new wallpaper. So you have astronomies, you have the weather, and within astronomies, you know, you can still do things like this. You can swipe over and you'll get a bigger detail. You can go to the moon, you could swipe one more time, you'll get a moon detail. You go to the solar system and you get one on that one. So there's quite a few within here. Also, you have the weather one. It's gonna be based on location. You can add emojis. 
here as well. So you can click a few emojis that you like. Let's say you like the fire emoji. Let's say you like, you know, praying emoji, whatever. This is just an example. Then you could swipe through and see different type of emojis. So they got rings, they got spiral, they do have more. And I, I think this is really gonna expand. As time goes on, Apple's gonna give you more and more customizations through this exact feature right here. You could see we do have different colors. You can go deep, vapor, bright, solid, and more. So that's kind of just the colors. And then you can go to the pride or collections. So in collections, you'll see that one. Now, when you scroll down, there's even more to look at. You have different preset emoji wallpapers you can pick that Apple has already provided to you out of the gate. So if you like flowers, vegetables, I don't know why you would put that alien one, but if it's your thing, it's your thing. You can see right down here, we do have different gradients as well. I kind of quite like those. Now, if you scroll up to the top, you'll see you can just click these things to get to those ones you want as well. If you want to just skip out on the scrolling stuff, you can just click the specific types that they are providing. So that's a faster way to do it as well. Now, when we go ahead and add one though, let's go ahead and add a couple of widgets on this one right here. Let's add it. We'll just set the wallpaper pair, for example. You're gonna see within the lock screen now that we do have two different types of wallpapers. And you can keep populating more and more as you go. And then if you want, you can also set specific focus filters to these specific wallpaper pairs. So you can go ahead and click the focus filter right here. And let's say this one is your personal wallpaper throughout the day. You can go ahead and do that. And then you can go over here to another one and just go ahead and click focus. And let's say this one you want for work. You could just make that one for work. And so you could basically play around with those focus filters. And as they go, they will populate more and more. And you could just add more and more to kind of get, you know, different types and colors and things like that. So that's essentially how you're going to use this. But there's one more thing to note about this. You can also kind of delete them, like get them out of the way really quickly if you don't really you know, like them too much, you don't like that one anymore, you wanna switch it up, you can also just do that. And again, you could always just customize from the lock screen. So that's basically it. You can also add photos and things like that. Now, one last thing I wanted to mention is some people are annoyed that they're not seeing their original wallpapers, for example, that came with their 13 Pro Max or 13 Pro, their 13, whatever. Apple kind of removed those default wallpapers. So the best way I found to get these back is to kind of just Google them. You know, you can grab them from Google Images. A lot of websites actually have saved them. So if you miss these wallpapers that came directly from, you know, the iPhone, you can go ahead and just Google them. So that's the best way I, I could tell you right now to get those stock ones back. But this is what you're going to be working with with iOS 16. So if that got, if that helped you out, do me a favor, click the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already and let me know. What has been your favorite lock screen customization so far? Have you found apps that are helping you customize even further? Leave them down below. It can help people out. And do you really love this feature or you don't really care about this feature? Let me know down below in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.